and, and stabilizing this. Good morning, this is Luke Owen again. And, uh, you know, I live in Buford, Georgia. Last night, we absolutely got hammered by a big old rain event, and uh, at least a one-inch rain event. So I uh, wanted to take this opportunity to get up early in the morning and uh, talk about what a watershed is. I mean, simple things like that, a lot of times we just take for granted. This is, uh, for me, this is really exciting. And I love this kind of stuff because I think everybody, once you see what a watershed is and you see the potential for the impacts downstream of not just water volume, although that's a huge impact, but uh, the pollutants that actually get accumulated and uh, we're calling sediment a pollutant um, and cause uh, significant impacts downstream that really affect a lot of people. Uh, affect the animals, the fish, the wildlife in the aquatic system that uh, a watershed is in. So uh, really what a watershed is, it's an area of land um, that drains into a common body of water. And uh, that's exactly what we're looking at here. This particular area of land will eventually take the water down to the Chattahoochee River watershed, which of course takes it all the way down eventually through various dams to the Gulf of Mexico. So uh, the sediment of course here will not make it all the way down to uh, the ocean. It's eventually going to settle somewhere along the way where water slows down. But anyway, uh, here we go. Uh, I'm going to walk this area. As a matter of fact, today I'm not going to walk it because uh, we've got some lightning flashing here that's got me a little concerned. But I filmed this area uh, with some pretty good water on it a while back. And you'll notice there's going to be a difference in the uh, landscape because the trees uh, didn't have leaves on it and that type of thing uh, at the time. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in. Well, it's really starting to rain hard here, and uh, as I was out here filming, which is really a great opportunity to kind of see what happens with the water. So as you can see here behind me, this is at the bottom of that uh, watershed, or quite getting close to the, the bottom of this particular Here you can see where the water is uh, kind of accumulated and uh, built up. This storm drain um, was really plugged up last night, and uh, a lot of trash and debris from this watershed is accumulated here. So here's the water as we actually start to follow it on down. You can see last night as the water was sheeting off of this area. And uh, there's our silt fences down. You can see what sheet flow does here as well. It takes a lot of sediment and leaves the rocks on top because uh, they're too heavy to be carried along with sheet flow. So there's an awful lot of dirt that gets carried along while the rocks just uh, stay put. The further we uh, come down the watershed, the more water we get. And it's this kind of water, the flood water, that causes a lot of property damage and things like that that we've already seen or we will see in the next couple of shots, the next couple of videos. As you can see, uh, looking up uh, the creek here, the, uh, the water level was incredibly high last night. As a matter of fact, it actually flowed over and impacted this store in front of me. And uh, the chain link fence that uh, lined this area actually got almost swept away. And you can see where it caught a lot As of debris. As you can see, uh, the water was moving fast enough, enough energy to actually pick up blocks of asphalt and carry them along and deposit it right there in front. You can see where the water blew through this gate, this gate, uh, this fence here. Good to meet you, James. Nice to meet you too. Take care.
a gentleman up the street was using this asphalt for erosion control in his ditch and uh, the water didn't like it so it got rid of it. This is the uh, Swanee Creek Bridge right now and we're turning off here into the River Plantation subdivision. We'll be pulling over here to take a look at Swanee Creek. This particular creek, as I mentioned, is Swanee Creek. Another storm drain. And you can see all the water entering from this, from that roadway up there, right straight into the creek. And these creeks just don't have the capacity to handle that volume of water, but they make the capacity because they erode. And uh, they have no choice but to make that capacity, and they end up, uh, of course, by eroding, causing a lot of damage. So anyway, here is Swanee Creek. It's absolutely moving right now. There's the devastation that occurred and has been occurring for years. It's just getting worse and worse. We lost more trees with this last rain event. Uh, as we turn the camera over to Swanee Creek, there is a ton of water in this thing. And we're starting to see some failure of the, uh, the bank here. So I'm not going to get too close, but that's exactly what happens. These trees that in Georgia we use as buffers, uh, the roots really do hold on well to the soil. But uh, when you have this kind of flooding and the saturation of soils, you end up getting sloughing like that. And trees can't possibly hang on to that kind of uh, undercutting. And so we lose our buffers. And uh, you can see this particular tree has already fallen in there. Lots of water. And of course that's flowing right over to the Chattahoochee River underneath that bridge, which is where we're going next. A lot of the uh, impervious surface water coming from the subdivision itself is causing water to flow right straight down into Swanee Creek. And we're seeing a significant amount of failure, slope failure here as trees have just recently fallen in. This is the uh, mouth of Swanee Creek entering the Chattahoochee River. You can see the flooding in uh, the leaves and the trees. Some of the trees are starting to fall in, cave in there. You know, in Georgia, we are a green state. It's amazing the number of plants, the diversity of wildlife and, uh, and plant life and those types of things. And so when it rains here, given the natural ground cover that you'll see, I've um, got a low battery here, uh, there's a lot of water from a rain event that gets captured in the leaves and in the grass, and then eventually gets, it has time to settle into the soil, and it doesn't run off. Where in front of me here, you have hard surfaces, and then you have land development that create an awful lot of uh, water that runs along the ground that uh, picks up the pollutants and creates the scour and erosion and all the things that we've looked at here today. So in the past we did have some erosion problems big time in our history because of farming activities that, that took down trees and uh, timber harvesting activities that still do that kind of stuff today. <clears throat> but in urban areas uh, this is really our big problem uh, as far as water volume. It's just something we're always going to have to deal with. And that's one reason the EPA has measures to try to encourage municipalities that they call Municipal Separate Storms uh, Sewer Systems, MS4s, to infiltrate their water back into the ground in urban areas. So in closing, I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. At the end of the day, we all live in a watershed. We all live, uh, live upstream from somebody and we live downstream from somebody. And I know that I wouldn't like to be impacted by somebody contaminating my water and I certainly don't want to impact somebody downstream from me. Whether you're in construction, industry, or just a private person trying to figure out what to do with that used oil, we all need to be thinking about where storm drains go and what watersheds really are. Uh, fishing, hunting, skiing, swimming, boating, all those activities that we think of in terms of recreation are because of clean water. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.